God's at work here at Taylor's First Baptist Church. A few weeks ago, we had our student ministry dean out. Students were encouraged to take note cards that had verses from the book of Romans. We had studied the book of Romans over the weekend of our dean out, and our hope was that through the student's faith and being challenged through the book of Romans, that they would in turn take a step of faith and donate $26 per verse. It would cost $11,000 to translate the book of Romans, and our hope was that we could raise enough money to actually translate the book of Romans into a language where it did not exist. When we first began dreaming about what this kind of project coming out of Denial could look like, we had no idea that it would ripple through the church. Our students began to get excited, and along with that, some of the adult leaders and deacons started to get excited. This year, I decided that instead of getting people in my family to spend money buying me um, gifts for my birthday, I asked them all to donate $25 to sponsor each verse for our fundraiser. And when that was finally added up with all the other donations from other people, it reached $600. Through a series of really neat conversations and connections, we found donors, first through the missions department, who wanted to kind of join with what God was doing in student ministry, and then a couple in California who said they would match dollar for dollar every single dollar that this church gave towards this scripture translation project. Some of the adult leaders and deacons started to get excited, started hearing people asking how they could be involved. We started getting checks into our office, not from students or their parents, but from deacons and other people who, who just wanted to be part of spreading God's word into nations where it had never been before. The night that we were gathering the students together to bring in the cards and their finances, just down the hallway in the fellowship hall, an adult raises their hand and says, let's take up a collection here, because down the hallway, the students are stepping out in faith and we want to be part of what God is doing to spread his word among the nations. We kind of had our, our big group gathering on Wednesday night called United. Students were called to bring the money back and as kind of a moment of celebration. And the number is 33,000. $485.35. That's not just enough for the book of Romans. That's enough for two other gospels to be translated. At first it was just shock on how much we raised with the help of other groups, how we could raise so much money and hopefully make an impact on other people's lives. On the Sunday morning of our Now, Ricky Stark challenged the students to step out in faith and dream what could God do if we were to join him and spreading His Word and His name into the nations. We're talking about continents, peoples, who didn't even know that there was a, a man, God, named Jesus, who came to die on the cross for their sins. There are people who speak languages that we can't even speak, who will know the name of Jesus, children and grandchildren who will be different, all because we've begun something here that's directly in line with the heart of God.